Welcome to our channel. Today we will learn 10th Standard Social Science Geography Unit 1 India Location Relief and Drainage. In the lesson, give reasons distinguish between the following. This is the question. Can answer Pakla? Here can we one more question to answer port rock in the description box link here. Kadra by Pathakina. But the add Romal give reasons. First one. Himalayas are called Young Fold Mountains. This is the answer on the book page number 131. First, in your question, you can first write panicking. Okay, wow. Himalayas are called Young Fold Mountains because the because and write panate to continue on the book page number 131. Write panla because it was formed only few million years ago and formed by the folding of the earth crust due to tectonic activity. This is the right panicking. Next point is the first point, right panicking. Second point, paranga. First point is right point. Second point is right point. Himalayas have parallel ranges, short pointed peaks and steep slopes indicating that they are young fold mountains. This is the second point. Right point. Okay, wow. First point is the book. That is the right point. That is the second point. This is the right point. Next, the second question is North Indian rivers are perennial. This is the answer. Paranga. North Indian rivers are perennial because they originate, originate from the snow covered Himalayas. The snow covered Himalayan glacier is a good source for continuous water and the rivers are perennial. Okay, one the two points right. Next, third question South Indian rivers are east flowing. Good answer. South Indian rivers are east flowing. First point Most of the South Indian rivers are originates from the Western Ghats. Second point, the elevation of the western side is higher than the eastern side. Third point, so the south Indian rivers are east flowing. Rivers in the three points, so answer are right. Panicking. Okay, wow. Next, fourth question, paranga. west flowing rivers do not form deltas. Good answer, paranga. first point, most rivers flowing west from the western gates do not form from deltas. Second point, because of the high gradient and they don't have to travel much distance to drain into the sea. Third one, this prevents them from forming deltas as their mouths and mostly only estuaries are formed. Okay, Bob. Well, give reasons to answer. Next, we have fourth Roman number. Distinguish between the following. First one, paranga, Himalayan rivers and Peninsula rivers. You would answer. First, Himalayan rivers, Peninsula rivers. First point, paranga, these rivers originate from the Himalayas. Most of these originate from the western gates. Second point, they flow in North India. They flow in South India. Third point, they are long and wide. They are very short and narrow. Fourth point, they are perennial in nature. They are non-perennial in nature and or seasonal. Fifth point, they are useful for irrigation and navigation. They are useful for generating hydropower. Sixth point, their middle and lower courses are navigable. They are not useful for navigation. The six points are right. Panic answer of. Second one, paranga. Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. Good answer, Pakla, ma'am. The Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats. The Marie Tabler column put it. First point, paranga. The Western Ghats form the western edge of the peninsular plateau. The Eastern Ghats form the eastern edge of the peninsular plateau. Second point, it runs parallel to the Arabian Sea coast. It runs parallel to Bay of Bengal coast. Third point. These are continuous mountain ranges. These are discontinuous mountain ranges. Fourth point, Anaimudi is a short of dry junction of the Anaimali range, the Cardamon Hills and the Palani Hills. This joined the western gates at the Nilkheri Hills bordering Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Okay, the points will write. Next, third one, Paranga, western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains. This answer is Western coastal plains, eastern coastal plains. First point, Paranga. It lies between Western Gates and the Arabian Sea. It lies between Eastern Gates and Bay of Bengal. Second point, it extends from Rana of Kutch in the north, north to Kanyakumari in the south. It extends from West Bengal in the north to Tamil Nadu in the south. Okay, for second point. Next, third point. Paranga. Northern part is known as Kongan Coast and southern part is known as Malabar Coast. The northern part is known as northern circus and the southern part is known as coromandel coast. Next, last point. Vampanat Lake is found in here. Kolleris, Shilka 
and pulicate lakhs are found here. Okay, when the four points are right, panikla, okay. In the video, you can use the channel, subscribe, like, share. Thank you to all.